These are five suburbs in WA that experts have penned in for prime growth in 2023. This is based on an article in Domain which says they are top 20 WA towns prime for strong growth. Today I'm only looking at the top five which includes, I can't pronounce it so don't roast me, Burkup, Wembley Downs, Noranda, Binding Up, Akimos. This list is according to World Money CEO Scott Spencer, who has chosen this list according to the combination of declining inventory levels and days on the market, coupled with asking prices increasing over the October quarter. So let's look at them individually. Number one, Burkup. I'm obviously butchering the name. Is it Burkup? Ah, whatever. Let's call it B. So the B suburb is actually next to Paradise and Roselands. No, Rowlands. Doing a bit of search, it's currently at 0.29 at vacancy rate. It only has a population of 7.99. Medium house price is 510k, and in the last quarter, 6% jump. In a year, 15. In two years, 29% jump. God damn. This is on Google, so there's not some special website that I'm looking up. Just look it up yourself. Oh my god, look at that. This is going for four bedrooms and it's 850k. Hmm. Let's look at Wembley Downs now. So Wembley Downs is here. It's kind of near the beach, so I guess that's good, you know? Like kind of Bondi-ish. I think this one's a bit better because it has a bigger population and uh, it's got 0.34 vacancy rate, which is really good. And the medium house price is pretty expensive, obviously near the beach. Uh, the percentage growth is pretty good. Last quarter, 8%, 18, oh, 38% in the last two years. And let's look at Naranda. So Naranda's over here. It's a bit far away from the beach, so I'm expecting a bit cheaper. So Naranda has low vacancy and a good size population. The medium house price is 600k, but then the growth hasn't been that crazy like the other two suburbs. And let's look at number four, Bingding Up. All these names so weird, like, you know, in Sydney, Liverpool, Cabramatta. Man, keep it simple. Bingding Up is over here and surrounded by a bloody hell bush. Population site is expectantly very low and vacancy is also very low. But the medium house price is very low, 449000 and growth is okay, look at that. Lastly, Upkamos. Obviously butchering the suburb name, so let's call it A. It's actually next to a beach. Surprising, the, the population is pretty big, so there's a lot of rental possibilities. And the price is pretty medium price at 469, pretty good. And look at the bloody growth in the last two years, 21%. Whew. Obviously, if you Google this article, you'll find like more suburbs which you can look in yourself. And guys, I'm gonna repeat this again. I am not a bloody buyer's agent. I get on the call, people are like, hey, can you find me this house? I'm gonna throw you some money. I am a mortgage broker, bro. I'm just sharing my own opinion, like, you know, talking shit. Like, I know I'll make a fantastic buyer's agent, man. I've got a big following. I'll sell bloody property, make, make a lot of money. But that's not my passion, yo. So jump in the comments. What do you think of these suburbs? Let me know.